Hi, I'm Congressman Mark Vesey. I represent the 33rd Congressional District, which encompasses much of the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. And I'm here today to discuss the COVID-19 vaccine with Dr. Natalia Gutierrez from Texas Health Resources. Thank you, Dr. Gutierrez, for being here today. Thank you, Congressman. We're very excited to have this opportunity to discuss vaccinations with you and to discuss the COVID-19 vaccine. Um, what can I tell you about it? Well, uh, you know, I've been hearing from the community a lot of questions about COVID-19 vaccines, and I've been meeting a lot of people, quite frankly, that are still very hesitant to receive it. Uh, and it's important that we recognize there is a mistrust uh, and hesitancy, particularly in the black and Hispanic communities. Uh, there's also a lot of misinformation, uh, like the vaccine altering DNA or causing infertility. Can you speak about the vaccine safety and why people should get vaccinated? Yes, Congressman. The vaccine is very safe and effective. It has gone a rigorous process. Um, there's a lot of patients that have been on the study. At least 40,000 patients have been in one of the studies. And it has been deemed safe and effective by the, C, um, by the CDC. I know there's a lot of mistrust, and this is where I would like you know, our patients to start coming to ask and ask us questions about the vaccine instead of going case by case um, in, in different places. The vaccines do not alter your DNA. The vaccine um, works as a transporter and it transports to your cells and it tells your cell, hey, you gotta protect me from this nasty virus that's coming. And it starts producing antibodies. And then the vaccine just disintegrates. Um, it leaves very little in you. It's a very safe and effective vaccine. You know, another question that I've been asked a lot too is, which vaccine should I get? Uh, how would you answer that? Yes, uh, our current answer is we encourage you to get whatever vaccine we have available and or your county has available, the store has available, whatever is available for you. So what would you tell people who ask if the vaccine will make them sick? I say um, the vaccine cannot get you um, COVID. It does not have the live virus in it. Um, again, it's a transporter that tells your body how to react to the vaccine. There's no doubt that you could potentially have a side effect from it. It's something very, very mild. It's about 24 to 48 hours. I actually volunteer in one of the Texas Health uh, sites for vaccination, and I was the one telling everybody to be excited about the, the side effect they were going to have because that meant their immune system was responding, and that meant that the vaccine was making its way into your system and producing antibodies. So it's a good thing that you get a fever, pain, you don't feel too good. It normally lasts a day or two, and if you have no medical conditions, normally taking a little bit of Tylenol or ibuprofen helps. We also encourage you not to take anything before the vaccine, but just after. And of course, you can always consult with your physician, your primary care physician, um, if you have any doubts about it. So just to be clear, is it possible to get COVID-19 from the vaccine? Absolutely not. How effective is the COVID-19 vaccine? Both vaccines currently available in the United States are extremely effective. We've never had a vaccine that I've been so excited about with this amount of effectiveness. If you look at childhood vaccination, they don't, they don't get anywhere to the levels that um, the COVID vaccines we have right now are. Um, they're about, in the studies, they were like 94, 95% effective. And in real world, they're 90% effective, which means if I have 100 people, 90% uh, of them, 90 of them uh, will have no issues, and then 10% of them, so 10 out of 100, may develop the disease. And if they do, it tends to be more of a mild case. So when constituents ask me, why should I get the vaccine now? How do, you, how do I answer? Yes. So we get that question a lot. Um, some people is like, why, why should I get the vaccine? You know, if I get sick, you know, I don't think I'm going to be that sick. I'm not going to be very ill, especially if you're a young person. So you should get the vaccine because you need to protect yourself. Um, you need to protect the ones around you. And because we need to work as a community to be able to stop this virus. One of the things people don't talk a lot, a lot of people talk about how sick you get when you get coronavirus, how many people um, have died. I had a lot of patients died, unfortunately. But what we don't talk about a lot is the people that carry the virus and become long haulers and they have the virus for months afterwards. This is extremely devastating. We have many, many people that are not able to work right now because they're so sick from recovering from the virus. So. 
we not only will be protecting ourselves from the virus, we'll be protecting ourselves from getting post-COVID symptoms, and we will be protecting ourselves from getting other ones that we love um, around us sick. Congressman BC, can you tell us a little bit more how to gain access to the vaccine? Yeah, no, absolutely, of course. Uh, currently, there are several ways to sign up. Uh, you do not need health insurance or a social security number to get a free COVID-19 vaccine. Also, your immigration status does not matter either. Uh, you can go to getthevaccine.dshs.texas.gov and cvs.com. Uh, we're going to add these links in the comment below this video post. Uh, also, your county health department website should also list the places it is available to you. Uh, updated information will be available on Texas Health's website, texashealth.org forward slash vaccine.